Mega Mind is back, and it means some serious business. I didn't say serious, I said serious business. So welcome back, your host, Louis Tomlinson. Oh, yes, it's back, and it's as mega as ever. That's funny because it's called Mega Mind, and I made a joke. I'm your host, Louis the Tomo Tomlinson. Let's kick this stuff off. Our first competitor is Liam Payne. So Liam, this question's from Tay. If you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would you eat? Um, chocolate. Why? Because, <laughs> oh god. Because Why? It tastes chocolatey. Okay, this question's from Katie. If you were to compete in the Olympics, what would be your event? Uh, um, I would run lots of miles. How many miles? Well, I would run 100. Okay, I'm gonna have to accept your first answer, which was Harry Styles. Okay, this question is from Emily. When was the last time you cried? Ooh, I'm very sad. Uh, the last time I cried was probably today when we got something wrong in rehearsal. I wasn't very happy about it, but I carried it anyway. This one's from Taylor. If you were a girl, who would you date in the band? Louis the Tomo Tomlinson, because he's quite funny. Interesting choice. This one's from Leona. Funnily enough, Liam, not Leona Lewis. Uh, what is the one thing, get it, you couldn't live without? The one thing Smiley I couldn't face. live without is... The one thing that I couldn't live without is Louie. I was saying it was a smiley face in the sheet, but I admired your smiley face. There it goes. If I was to look in your refrigerator... Oh, I've started, so I've finished. If I was to look in your refrigerator... Refrigerator... Fridge... What would I find? You would probably find... Some... Milk. Strange thing to find in a fridge. And your time's up, I'm afraid. But well done, Liam. You've been very sexy. Our next competitor is very, very cool. He's called Zane. Let's see how he does. Okay, this question's from Tay. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would you eat for the rest of your life if you could eat it for the rest of your life? Chicken. Why? Because it tastes good. Interesting. This one's from Katie. If you were to compete in the Olympics, what would be your event? Javelin. Javelin, why would you throw javelin sticks? Uh, I, I don't know. We to Bix. This question is from Amelie. When was the last time you cried? Oh, God, I'm upset. But I'm not really because I'm your host. Um, last time I cried, probably watching a film. What film? Actually, it was a documentary. What was the date of the event? Um, 25th of January. I think you're wrong because that was last year. This one's from Taylor. If you were a girl, who would you date in the band, not including yourself? See you later. Um... I'm gonna have to push you for an answer, really quickly. Harry, Five, Harry, four. Harry, Harry. Mmm, I'm very cross about this. Leona, what is the one thing you couldn't live without? One thing is funny because it's the name of one of our songs. Uh, music, face. music, music. Music. Music, music. No, oh, and your time's up. I'm not going to accept that answer. So unlucky. What can I do? Okay, we're just getting the information through for the winner. This is my earpiece. It's not really there. This is my earpiece. It's really there. Okay, and our winner is Liam Payne. Wow, I'm proud of that boy. He's damn cool. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Join us next week for some more mega fun. Woo! Yeah, on Mega Mind. You better be there. Welcome back to Mega Mind. This week we have two competitors, like we always do, but we have Harry Styles and Niall Horan. And as you can hear, all the fans outside going cooking to get crazy for Mega Mind. Let's see how they do this week. Courtney, what would your ideal job be if you wasn't in One Direction? That's the band that you're in, by, by the way. I'd be a physio. What type of physio? Like a, uh, like a sports therapist. Ismay, Jim Tyler, have you ever fallen out of bed before? Tongues out face, like this. Yes. Describe to me how you fell out of bed. Uh, I fell out of bed. What hurt? Uh, my... Okay, K. Yan Berry, which country would you like to go before that you've never seen before? Which country would you like to go to before it came out? Australia. Why did you say it in that tone? I okay, this one's from Saskia <laughs> Styles, Morris Smith. That sounds like four names jumbled into one. If you could change one thing that's not about our single, about yourself, what would it be? Question mark, colon. Uh, my ears. Why would you change your ears about yourself? Because you never see them. 
Uh, hidden. So you would make them bigger? Weird. Next question from Charlotte. How long did it take for you to get ready in the morning? Must be a long time, because you've got curly locks. Uh, about 40 minutes? Half an hour? 14 minutes, okay. 14 minutes. 14. This one's from... Oh, I I've started, and... No, I'm not going to finish. Your time's up. Okay. Alexa Payne Jurek, describe yourself in one word. By the way, the word that I would describe you with is irresistible. Mmm, you taste good. Irresistible, I taste good. You can't copy me. What would your word be? Unstoppable. Wow, you're like a superhero. Bella Inman, is it true that it makes you upset when girls cry? Yes, it does. They upset me. Right, that means two people are upset, and then you're in a very big puddle of tears. Monica Thomas, are you ticklish? Yes, where? In okay, this question is from Key Yan Berry. Which country would you most like to go for the interview before? Kazakhstan. Why? Because Borat lives there. Courtney, what would your ideal job be if you wasn't in One Direction? That's the band that you're in, by, by the way. I'd be a dentist. Okay, interesting. This one's from Charlotte. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? 2.67 minutes. Wow, that's a lot of minutes. Nicole, if you were going on a cooking show, what would your signature dish be? That's not your autograph, because that's like a signature. <laughs> Disc. <laughs> oh, um... The the Mashed time fish fingers and beans. The time was up, but I will accept your answer because I like the color of your hair. <laughs> mom, mom, I'm gonna have to call you back. Results just in, and the winner is. It's Niall Horan. You. Yes. <laughs> Welcome everybody. To the Talk Talk Mega Mind Show. I'm your host, Louis Tomlinson, and I've got some questions from our Talk Talk customers. We've got two finalists going head to head. We've got Cher Lloyd, turn my swag on, and we've got Niall Horan, the blonde Irishman. Let's see how Cher does. Right, Cher. Your time starts in three, seven, lion, now! Lauren Creasy from Grantham says, What's your favorite type of clothing? Um, uh, I don't get it. What's your favorite type of clothing? <laughs> I'm baggy stuff, like hoodies. Why? Because you're comfortable and... You okay, know. okay, okay, whatever. Amy McGee from Glasgow says, Which three people would you invite to a dinner party, and why would you invite them? Keith Lemon. Well, I know his name's not Keith Lemon, but Keith Lemon as the actor Keith Lemon. Alan Lemon. Carr and Quick. Lee Evans. Why? Because they're all funny people. You'd have a laugh. Okay. Uh, Billy McGuire from Bristol said, "If you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go right now?" Where? Ibiza. Why? Okay, Jamie Taylor from Cardiff says, What's the last movie you saw? Harry Potter! Harry Potter, okay. Lola Childoza from Belfast said, What did you have for breakfast? Today! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, shit! Stop right there! Your time's up! Right, Niall, are you ready? Yeah! Are you steady? Yeah! Then let's go! Oh! Lauren Creasy from Grantham says, What's your favorite item of clothing? My one piece. Why? Because it's an American flag. Okay, Amy McGee from Glasgow says, Which three people would you invite to a dinner party? Um, Louis Tomlinson, Harry Styles, Zayn Malik. Why? Because they're in one direction. Good shout. Billy McGuire from Bristol said, If you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go right now? I beat Where? Them. I beat them. Why? The share's going. Oh, <laughs> controversial. <laughs> Jamie Taylor from Cardiff says, What's the last movie you saw? Harry Potter! Okay. Lola Childoza from Belfast said, What did you have for breakfast today? Hey? Sausage, beans, hash browns, Egg. How many of each? Two, one, two. Okay. Sally Davis from Norwich says, Do you cook your own food in the house? No. Okay. Ben Morgan from Southport says, What time did you get up this morning? What time? 7.30. 
Okay, uh, Hazel Flood from Burst Cove says, Who's the grumpiest in the morning? Eddie Grimshaw. Okay, uh, David Ferguson from Bromley says, Do you talk in your sleep? All the time. Whoa, Niall! See you in a while! The time's up! <laughs> no, it can't be! Can it? Whew. Looks like we have almost a Mega Mime record! Nine points! Niall's the winner! Oh, this almost reduces me to tears! Niall Horan is our winner of Mega Mine! Welcome to the X Factor Mega Mine! I'm your host, Louis Tomlinson, and we've got some questions from Talk Talk. Head to head, we have two finalists. We've got Mary Byrne, and we've got Harry Styles. So let's see how Mama Mama Mary does. Well, Mary, your time starts now. Avanar Din from Edinburgh says, What do you miss most about being at home? My daughter, my dogs, and my cat, and my family. Kerry Warrington from Hull says, Are you single? I sure as hell am. Ooh, sounds good to me. <laughs> Megan Shepard from Nutwich says, What would your perfect date be other than myself? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my perfect date would be with the guy from... Uh, One Direction? No, we okay. Wait. My perfect date would be the guy from... Oh, God, I can't even think of the name of it. I'm going to have to rush you. Hold on. Um, from um, Gilmore Girls, Luke. Okay, hey, look. Tara Golding says... Who's the smartest person in the house? Uh, Rebecca Ferguson. Okay, Nicole McGowan from Belfast said... What's your worst habit? Uh, I yawn very loud. Okay, Ashford Ahmed from Slow says... What's your favorite color? Red. Nice. Mickey Friend from London says, If you could only eat one vegetable for the rest of your life, what vegetable would you eat? Broccoli, because I love it. Oh, okay. Emily... Mm. Uh, I, I, I'll finish because I've already started. Emily Powell from Hitchin Charter House, never heard of that place, says, Who were you most sad about leaving the competition? Oh, hey, why? Because he's left recently and he didn't deserve to go. Okay, and your time's up there, Mary. Thank you. Hey, let's see how Harry does. Right, curly boy, your time starts now. This one's from Aminar Din from Edinburgh. What do you miss most about being at home? My bed. Okay, Kerry from Warrington Mint Hull says, Are you single? I am. Cheeky? I am. Okay, Megan Shepherd from Nodwich says, What would your perfect date be? Um, film and some popcorn or something. Something, okay. Tara Golding from Islesbury said, Who's the money person in the house? Uh, my, Who's the money person in the house? Mercado. Okay, Nicole McCowan from Belfast said, What's your worst habit? Uh, snore. Ring. What do you mean, snore? Snoring. Okay, Mickey Friend from London says, If you could only eat one vegetable for the rest of your life, what vegetable would you eat? Yes, we can. Why? Because uh, I like sweet corn. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Becky Kai from Warren says... Oh, wrong question. Emily Powell says, Hinting Charter... <laughs> Emily Powell... Emily Powell from Hinting Charter House says, Who are you most sad about living in the competition of wife? Aiden, because he's a good friend. Hey. Okay, and this one is from... Um... Hurry up! Um... um uh, uh, Becky Color uh, Color Han from Warrington says, "What does she say? Mm. Oh. What oh. are you doing? Um, well, I have started, but I'm not going to finish. What? Whoa! Calm down, Curly. <laughs> Your time's up. So who wants to see who's won this week's?" Mega Mind. I know I do. <laughs> and our winner is Mary Byrne. So, join us next week for some more mega fun on Mega Mind.